All right, guys, I'm back. I wanted to first thank uh, Corey, the Truth 683. He helped me get my uh, system back in order. I was having some computer trouble, so I'm sorry about that, guys. But anyways, I appreciate that, Corey. NBA playoffs, man. <laughs> it's been it's been crazy so far. You know, you got you know Derrick Rose getting hurt, Dwight Howard getting hurt. I wish they were still playing. It would have been a lot more interesting uh, because the Bulls will be playing the Celtics, the Celtics right now. And the, uh, in my opinion, and, uh, you know, the Orlando Magic would have beat the Pacers with Dwight Howard, in my opinion. They would be playing the Miami Heat. Now you got the Lakers. You know, game two was interesting. They played, uh, Laker ball last two minutes of the game. They faltered and they lost. You know, Kobe Bryant didn't get the ball, but to me, uh, met a world piece, made a good pass, made a good decision. Cause remember, there was no timeouts. Gave the ball to Blake. Blake missed it. Okay. Simple as that. They lost the game. It happens. Uh, I picked uh, Thunder in six. I still i am going to go with that. Maybe in five now because I think that was the game they should have won. Uh, they're probably going to split in L.A. and then they're going to go back and finish it uh, for game five or six. But we don't know. We'll, we'll see. But the Thunder is definitely uh, the better team. Um, you know, you got the San Antonio Spurs who are absolutely rolling. You know, they haven't lost the game yet. They're 6-0. and oh. uh, The Clippers, to me, are playing with house money right now because, in my opinion, uh, they shouldn't have beat the Memphis Grizzlies. A period the better team won that series a better team didn't win it, that series excuse me uh, the memphis grizzly gave up game one when they lost that 20 point 20 something point lead uh to the clippers and that right there just killed them and they lost the series and now the clippers are playing uh to me uh, the team that's going to win the championship and i'll get in that in a second and then you got the eastern conference of course you got the boston celtics who absolutely rolled over the 76ers uh, in game three, they just showed them what time it is, man. And Ke Kevin Garnett, just like Tim Duncan, they're stepping in the hot tub time machine, man. Them guys are looking good, man. And the Celtics, if they play defense like that, um, they're going to go to the finals uh, uh, with Bosch playing or without Bosch playing for the Miami Heat. Uh, then you got the Heat, man. Um, before I get into that, let me let me give my overall thoughts because um, I, I, I need a few minutes to talk about them. Uh, the 76ers, to me, are looking – uh, really, really good. They're playing with house money too. You know, even though they beat the Bulls without Derrick Rose and, and parts of it without Joe Kim Noah, uh, they've definitely overachieved by winning in Boston. Uh, they may win a game, uh, one more game, game four maybe, but I, you know, I picked, uh, I think I picked the, the Boston Celtics in five or six. I forget, but the Celtics are definitely the better team, but you got to give Doug Collins credit for a team that lacks so much experience and they're just young and they're up and coming and the Doug Collins to get them to where they're up to where they are now. Uh, that's a testament to him. He's a really good coach, and that's a good team, man. I I got a lot of respect for them. Uh, the Celtics, like I said before, playing great defense, playing good. Uh, Rondo doing his thing. Everybody's looking good. The Celtics, uh, to me, are looking right now like they're the favorites to go to the finals. And then you got the Lakers. Um, you know, if they don't do something in this series, they're they're probably gonna blow up their team, man, because they're just not they're just not fast enough. They're a little bit older. Uh, they can't stop the fast break, and Bynum plays when he wants to play. It's just, it's just ridiculous to watch the Lakers sometimes, man. Like Bynum said, they're like Santa Claus at Christmas. They gave the game away, you know, and I'll get into that in other videos. But to me, uh, the most quietest team is the, is the San Antonio Spurs, and we may be looking at the world champs, and I think we are looking at the world champs, folks. And I'm going to tell you guys why. Uh, defense and rebounding wins championships. They're a great defensive team, a great rebounding team, and they're literally – 11 men deep, and that's including Dewan Blair. They're 10 men deep with Dewan Blair hardly even playing now, and he's a excellent, excellent player. So we'll see what happens with that. I mean, it's 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 ridiculous, man, because the Spurs, like I said, uh, they're 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 the, they're the clear cut favorite to me under the radar. Now, they're probably the most boring team in the NBA, and a lot of people don't not, not gonna like to watch them because whether we like it or not, we like to see the Thunder or the Lakers in the finals especially David Stern and the NBA executives. Uh, but it ain't going to happen, folks. Uh, I don't see anybody beating this team four out of seven, even the Thunder, as great as they're playing. And they have a, a, a great team, man, the Thunder. They do. And to no fault of Kevin Durant. Uh, but they're just not going to beat the Spurs, man. They, they just can't do it. The Spurs, like I said, they're too deep. They got too much pride uh, coming off losing. Remember, they were the number one seed last year, and they lost to the Grizzlies, you know. And for them to come off of that, and they have all these new pieces, and now they got you know Boris Diaw from Charlotte. Can you imagine? Imagine being Boris Diaw coming from the 
the Bobcats, the worst team in the league, to arguably the best team in the league. What a what a what a pickup for him. And remember him and uh and Tony Parker are friends from high school. So uh, the Spurs are rolling on, on all cylinders and they're looking real good, man. And I I expect the Spurs to win a championship until I see something different. All right, now let me get into this Miami Heat situation, man. <laughs> Uh, and, and this is why I said, folks, uh, LeBron James went to the wrong team. OK, now LeBron and Dwayne Wade got a lot of things going on individually and together. And let me explain what I mean. Now, I told you this before. They're both alpha males. OK, period. They're both alpha males. They're both great players. They're both perimeter players and they do the same thing. But at the end of the day, it's Dwayne Wade's team. Now, is LeBron James the best player? Yes, he is. He is the best player on the team. OK, I'm, there's no doubt about that. And I've said that a 100 times. But now with Bosch out, it is exposing a lot of their weaknesses. LeBron James is playing the power forward position. Um, you know, he's out of, playing out of position, not as far as his body size, but he likes to be on the perimeter more. Uh, he's guarding David West and things like that and big men. And it's forcing him to play a little bit uh, out of his comfort zone. But LeBron James can do it. And he's playing, you know, he's playing a lot of minutes, too. But that 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 thing that Dwayne Wade pulled yesterday. You know, with the five points and yelling at the coach and having all the attitudes, man, that dude's got some serious personal issues going on right now. And that's just my opinion. I'm just giving you my personal opinion on it. Uh, Dwayne Wade is a outstanding all time great player. He really is. Um, but if they lose to the Indiana Pacers, something's got to change. I'm sorry. And that's no disrespect to Chris Bosch. I know losing him is a big reason for this, but like I said, no disrespect to Chris Bosch, but there is no way in hell. The Pacers should beat the Miami Heat in seven games if they do, you know, go on to do that. I mean, it, it's just ridiculous. And to me, it all comes down. I've said this once. I say it a thousand times. LeBron James went to the wrong damn team, man. You know, Dwayne Wade, LeBron James, those guys are great players, all time greats. But to me, they're not going to win a championship together, man, like this. They're not. Even if they got Chris Bosh, they're going to have a hard time with the Celtics. They probably, you know, will beat the Celtics with Bosh. But without Bosh, they're not beating the Celtics. If the Celtics play their defense like they did in game three against the Sixers. And if the Thunder happen to be fortunate enough to get past uh, the Spurs, they're not going to beat the Thunder. And they're damn sure ain't going to beat the Spurs. And uh, now I'm not going to sit here and say they're going to lose to the Pacers. Everybody's, you know, tripping about it. I don't know what's going to happen. I'm not a future teller. I, I don't know. I'm just giving you my opinions on it. But at the end of the day, man. Uh, LeBron James and Dwayne Wade are great, great players, but I think, and this is just my opinion, I think Dwayne Wade's a little teed off uh, how much attention LeBron James is getting. Folks, LeBron James is the best player on the team. When's the last time Dwayne Wade's been on a, on a team and walked into a locker room, and not only does he know he's not the best player, but everybody on that roster knows he's not the best player. When's the last time he's walked into a locker room? Not before LeBron James got there, that's for sure. Basically, his whole NBA career, college, high school, he's always been the best player. Now he's not. LeBron James is better than Dwayne Wade in almost pretty much every aspect of the game. He's bigger, stronger, taller, faster, quicker. Uh, to me, he's a better ball handler. You know, you can argue shooter, free throws, uh, slam dunk, jumping higher, uh, rebounds, assists, you know, steals, blocks. You know, it's just... LeBron's almost got him in every category. He's just a better overall player, and he's younger, and he's taller, and he's bigger. Now, I'm not saying Pat Riley's going to get rid of Dwayne Wade, but if Dwayne Wade causes um, a detriment to the team, because at the end of the day, folks, Dwayne Wade is the reason why they lost that game. You know, I saw Corey's video talking about LeBron and this, that, and the third. He's, Corey is so funny, man. I, I love watching his videos. But to me, uh, LeBron James, uh, even though he is the best player, uh, it's it's really Dwayne Wade's team, and he is the leader of that squad. And for him to not only lay an egg in a in a in a important game, not a real important game, but an important game, uh, and then you know t yelling at his coach and walking around like he's got an attitude and not getting back on defense and all the stuff that he was doing, um, I got to give him the blame for that. You know, now LeBron James didn't step up a lot neither. You know, he only had six points in the second half of the game. But at the end of the day, uh, it's Dwayne Wade's team. And this is why I said LeBron James went to the wrong franchise because you go to another guy's team and this is what happens. You know, when LeBron James gets hot, he can't keep going and keep scoring because he's got to defer to Wade. And Wade's got to do the same thing with LeBron and this, that, and the third. Look, it's hard to win a championship when you got two great perimeter players that almost do the same thing. The reason why I work for Jordan and Pippen is because Jordan was the unquestioned leader and the unquestioned best player. 
LeBron James is the unquestioned best player, but he's not the unquestioned leader. You know, and Wade is not the unquestioned leader. Even though he is, in my opinion, you know, some players refer to LeBron, some of them refer to Wade. But at the end of the day, Scottie Pippen knew his role. Does LeBron James or Dwayne Wade, whoever you look at as the Michael Jordan or the Scottie Pippen or either one, you know, do they really know their roles? Because I think they're too friendly with each other. You know, they're friends. Michael Jordan and Pippen were friends too, but they knew they had to handle business. They knew what time it was. Everybody knew what they had to do. They knew their roles. Uh, to me, LeBron and Wade do not know their roles yet. And that's why they're not going to win a championship. They can go to game seven of the NBA finals, triple overtime, and lose by one point on the last possession of the game. It's a failure. Because if they don't win it, it's a failure. Period. And if they mess around and lose to the Indiana Pacers, boy, all hell is going to break loose, man. I'm telling you that right now. And Dwayne Wade, if he if he keeps putting up his antics, I don't know if he's hurt or not. I don't know the whole story, whatever. Uh, but we're like midway through the second round, and they don't get it together, and they lose to the Pacers or mess around and lose to the Boston Celtics. There will be changes in the Miami franchise. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you think about the playoffs so far. Give me your thoughts on LeBron and Wade and everything else, and let me know who you guys think is going to win the championship, okay? Thanks, guys. Take care of yourselves. I'll talk to you soon. And don't forget, if you can believe it, you can do it. Thanks for watching. You guys know I appreciate it. And remember, folks, always, always treat people how you want to be treated. And everything will be okay. This is NBA Jerry, and I'll talk to you soon. Peace.